if you are an old man like me, you will remember somebody called Oscar. The guy played for Chelsea Football Club. We bought him from Brazil. He was amazing in his first season at Chelsea Football Club. Just what you want to see. Joga Bonito, the beautiful game. The guy was so flair. Scoring goals for fun. Amazing goals, like out of the blue. Those goals that he scored against Juventus. Oh my Lord. What a player he was. He's playing for China. He's on his last season in China. And I heard that he's going to join the MLS in America. So I can enjoy Oscar even more. Very sad. But you know what? Oscar was killed at Chelsea Football Club. Because Chelsea don't allow flair players to be themselves. When Di Matteo left, Jose Moreno took over. Oh my Lord. He was forced to defend all the time, drop back all the time. He lost that, that touch, the flair that he had from Brazil. He Europeanized, which means he became like a, a, Europe, a, a Europe or a player from Europe, European. They are called European, right? Speak, brother, speak. <laughs> so he became more of a collective player than individual flair players that, that he used to be. Yeah, Chelsea killed a lot of flair players. It reminds me even of Kennedy. Kennedy, who was amazing attacking winger slash number 10, force nine, scoring for fun in Brazil, came to Chelsea, boom, left back. We killed him. And I just hope that Enzo Maresca is not going to do the same, though. Because I don't want to see somebody like Estival William, Kendry Pius, to be blocked in the little box, play a certain way. You have to kick the ball a certain way. You don't do this. You don't move like this. I hate that kind of football. And that's why I am not so excited so quickly about Enzo Maresca. Everybody is getting carried away at the moment. Oh, oh my goodness, look at the way he's talking to players. Look at how he's coaching. Hey, 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 calm down. Calm down, brother. Calm down. It's not the end yet. It's not even the beginning yet. The brother hasn't even played one game for Chelsea. How are you going to start criticizing, insulting Pochettino, insulting every manager that we had so far and start praising this guy. Remember Maurice Osari? He came with his uh, sorry ball, tiki-taka, tiki-taka. We were awful. We were lucky at the end of the season. We didn't even finish top four, but somehow we won uh, Europa League and we qualified for the Champions League next season. We, I remember us getting smashed six. Bournemouth beating Chelsea 4-0. We were awful at the beginning. So this kind of game, this kind of systems, they take long, long time to gel. It's not going to happen out of the blue. You have to be patient. And you have to be humble. Don't speak. Don't talk too much. <laughs> Okay, guys, so my name is Oggs, your own brother. If you want to help the channel, please subscribe, share, comment down below. One click, one sub, one like, and my God will bless you. It's not going to cost you any money, my friend, but it's going to help the channel a lot. Let's continue. DJ Droba, Didier Drogba, 20 years already since Chelsea signed the legend. 381 games for Chelsea, 164 goals, 86 assists. Premier League, he won four times. FA Cup, he won four times. League Cups, which is the Carabao Cup today, he won three times. One Champions League, 
two Community Shield, two Golden Boot in the Premier League, African Player of the Year two times. Amazing. Today, 20 years since we signed him. And remember, Abramovich didn't want him. It's not like he didn't want him. He didn't know who he was. And Jose Moreno convinced him that you have to sign Droba. <laughs> Droba, who? I remember clearly uh, Abramovich was asking me, who? who? Who do you want for the striker? All the big names in Europe at that time, I told Drogba. And who is he? Where is he playing? Mr. Abramovich, pay. Pay and, and don't speak. And, and, and Didier was, was an iconic player for Chelsea, for the Premier all right legend the lesson that i learned from this jose moreno interview and how did they drop become the king at the very old age to be honest with you when he arrived at the chelsea football club it took him minimum of two years to settle the first year he didn't score a lot of goals and he was not happy he wanted to leave it was a lot of stuff we were lucky back then because we didn't have all this craziness on social media, right? And Didier Drogba persisted and stayed at Chelsea Football Club, and the rest is history. That's why when I see people insulting Nicholas Jackson or any player that not performing at the moment and say, you will never, you will never do this, you will never do this. Who do you think you are? You will never, you, will, you are not freaking whatever. you nobody. You are not God. How are you going to know somebody's future because you can insult people on social media? I, I hate that. Nicholas Jackson, the first season, 17 goals, all competition for Chelsea Football Club, if I'm not mistaken. Amazing season. He missed a lot of chances, but next season is going to be different. So, Nicholas Jackson or anybody we have to give them time to develop. And Droba came to Chelsea when he was like 25, 26 already. He was already very old. Nicholas Jackson came to Chelsea when he was like 22. Now he's like 23 years old. Give him time. All right. Never say never in life, my friends. Ugo Chuko, uh, some other Premier Leagues, teams or championship one team and Bundesliga but according to Fabrizio Romano he said that uh, Chelsea will prefer to loan him in the Premier League so he can get more experience so good luck to him and what are we going to do with him we have like 1000 midfielders Kepa Abragadabra rejected big money so he can wait for Real Madrid. But this is not a good news for Chelsea because Chelsea were going to get good money also from Saudi and also get rid of 200k a week from Kepa Abragadabra. But now that he just want Real Madrid and Real Madrid need to sell Lunin to create space for Kepa. So we might get stuck with this guy for one season in the academy if Real Madrid managed to get another deal with Lunin and Kepa, nobody want him. By that time, Saudi already found a replacement for him. He might be stuck and get 200K every single week for doing nothing. Let's keep praying because this brother needs to go. Romelo Lukaku, Big Rom. What is happening with this brother? The latest is that he's waiting for Napoli to, to agree everything with Chelsea because he already agreed a salary of six million until 2027. So Napoli needs to sell Osimen first and PSG are pushing, so he's moving to PSG. So it looks like this time around, we're going to say goodbye forever to Romelu Lukaku. My issue with Romelu Lukaku narrative on social media is many people called him like money grabber. He's greedy. He's such and such. But think about it, my friend. 
you know, take one second to think outside the box here. He went back to Inter. He took a salary cut to make it happen. All right? He moved to Roma. He took a price cut. Now he's moving to Napoli, almost taking half of the money that he's getting at Chelsea Football Club. So if money was the problem, why is he not asking for 20 million a season? Think about it. Copy paste is good, but sometimes use simple common sense. Lukaku is not about money. We don't know really what is his motivation to stay in Italy. But it's something, it's not money. It has nothing to do with money. The narrative is just narrative. All right. And then let's move to another so-called money grabbing. This morning, Green Bailey came out to say Man Manchester United want to sell Manson Mount. And Chelsea community celebrated as if they won the Champions League again. They were so happy because Manson Mount is going to create headlines and Het is going to bring you money. Het is going to br bring you all kind of uh, amen, hallelujah, praise the Lord, likes, and all that. I've never seen any community celebrate the fall of their own kid to this level. But you understand it's about money, it's about evil. And then, after a few minutes, Fabrizio Romano came out to say, United are not planning to get rid of Mason Mount. All right. So, but the celebration continue because that is going to keep us alive on social media. And then, let me show you something. One of the celebrations here from Uber Chelsea. He said, saw the money grabber. So Mason Mount is the money grabber, all right? For 60 million, spent, it, spent the money on Cole Palmer, who is whatever, whatever it is. And uh, he was celebrating, basically putting some loud music. Yes, 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 because Mason Mount is money grabber and he left Chelsea for money. Let me just use a little bit of common sense. I know social media is not about common sense, but let me tell you something. Mount was a Chelsea football club for three years on 50K a week. Malang Sar, in one season, a Chelsea football club made more money than Mason Mount in three years. Mount won the Champions League, the Super Cup, the FIFA World Cup for Chelsea Football Club in terms of the first team. In the academy, he won also so many trophies for Chelsea Football Club. Romelu Lukaku, 350k a week. Raheem Sterling, 350k a week. Timo Werner, 270k a week. Kai Havert, 300k a week. Koulibaly, 300k a week. Have you seen anybody calling them money grabber? Have you seen anybody calling them greedy and they are money, money, money? Why always call them? It tells you how xenophobia, tribalism, and evil are in this community, right? You will see the same thing will happen to Conor Gallagher. What's going to happen to Conor Gallagher is this. Todd Bowley and Chelsea will offer him like 70k a week. They know he's going to refuse. And then they're going to push some PR there to tell you, we gave him a contract, he refused, he's living for money. So the fans are going to turn against Gallagher and call him money grabber. That's how it works. That's how evil works in the world. So I wanted just to put this example out there. Like sometimes, don't just copy paste. God creating, created you with some, some intelligence in you. Sometimes you look at the situation and you can just, just think about it.